How you doing today guys? This is MTB Alex. Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert your stud uh, hubs over here to a quick release if you don't have a quick release. So stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and get cracking. Alright, so the first thing you got to do is actually go ahead and take the wheel off. So I'm going to do, I think this is a 516. This little thing right here holds up to the frame right there so that way it'll be aligned the whole time so let's get this to the workbench now this is a great upgrade if you have one of those new like I have the swing axum you all know that but there's also the swing tab the aluminum comp and the uh, boundary then they have the taper headset from Walmart as well and they do come in with the stud like this and you can convert them to a quick release for like 10 bucks now this kit comes from Amazon I bought it for like 10 11 bucks and it comes with the front and the rear and as you can see is the quick release and this is what it looks like so you have the quick release just like any other quick release and it's actually a, a stud that has a hole that takes the skewer so that's that's it so all we have to do is replace this stud with this quick release it should be all set okay we're gonna reuse this to get the uh, to keep the uh, the wheel aligned until we upgrade to uh, for another fork meanwhile what's up guys thank you for watching this video and if you haven't please go ahead and subscribe I want to reach a thousand subscribers by spring 2021 and I know I can do so with your support. So you gotta hold it on one side and then loosen up the other side. Then you should be able to loosen this other side. Cause you gotta have the cone out as well. The holding nut and the cone. And I'm going to show you, if you haven't seen the previous video when I talked about this, make sure you hit the thumbs, uh, the cart right here. So I'm pretty sure these are not going to be lubricated. And I'm going to take advantage and go ahead and lubricate them. 96% of you that are watching this video are not actually subscribed to my channel. So I know if you subscribe, I can hit that goal in a week. And turn the notification bell on so you won't miss any future content. A little bit of grease not too much though now careful because if you see I have a ball bearing that fell from the other side so I gotta make sure I put that back on now I'll show you that right there no grease very very minimal grease so I'm gonna go ahead and grease this up I'm just gonna use some marine grease. Thing is great because it's water resistant. I'm gonna put in a liberal amount. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna put grease inside. Some of these ball bearings were falling. It should be nine. Now, I'm gonna get my quick release stud right there. I have the cone and everything is ready to go as well. So, I'm also gonna put a little bit of grease on the cones on both sides, just for the sake of it. Now, whenever you buy this, one of them is gonna be shorter than the other one, of course, and the shorter one is gonna go for the front. I'm gonna pass this through right here sure the bearings don't jump on the other side all right now put a little bit of grease on this other cone so i already have grease on the bearings themselves none of these bearings fell so that's great i'm gonna set this thing in there and the cone what the cone is gonna do is is uh center it in there now you want to get this tight but not too tight that the bearings that the hub is not uh, turning okay so make sure you tighten this up 
don't go too crazy, okay? So let's go ahead and take care of that. Remember, you got two sides, you just kind of space them evenly, and then go from there. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the combs first. And I'm putting the lucky nuts. So now, if you don't, right there, it's not. So I can feel a little bit of uh, friction in there. So I'm just gonna step out just a bit. Now this is perfect. A little bit of wobble, make sure there's, as long as there's no wobble, Now, putting the locking nut on both sides, I have one for the left and one for the right. This so is gonna hold them in place. Now you do the same thing with the other side, which is this right here. Now you wanna hold the cone while you're doing this so you can actually lock them together. Go ahead and lock the, hold the cone like before. Hold this one right here while you tighten up the other side. And that should take care of it. All right, so this is what you want. You want no play. You want a free spin, okay? Make sure the everything's tightened up. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the locking ones for this fork. Now the quick release. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of grease right here, just for the sake of it. It won't hurt. It's something that is gonna be rotating. Might as well have it lubricated. Now the quick release side is gonna go right here. So on the other side, you just put it in like that. And there we have a quick release front wheel for a budget price. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Now this is what it's gonna look at the end. I still have my center things on both sides. Right here, quick release. Let's go ahead and put this thing on. And this thing just goes in the same way as before. All right, and that's how you convert a regular stud to a quick release. It's 10 bucks at Amazon. I'll see if I can link a li uh, leave a link down in the description. If you learned something today, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe. Help me reach a thousand subscribers by spring of this year. That way I can keep making more content for you. That's it for this one, guys. And I'll see you on the trails. Goodbye.